<clears throat> Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Today I have another beer from High Branch Brewing Company out of Concord, North Carolina. Um, this beer is a beer in a series of beers from series of uh, IPAs from these guys called Off the Record. Um, this doesn't say what version it is, but this one is version nine. Um, I've had a few different ones of these, but I've always, some, for whatever reason, I was out of town or something, and I, I missed the can releases. Um, but I have had a few of these on tap, and they've all been really good, so I was pretty excited. But it is a rotating series, so I'm not sure if the malt bill is the same. Um, I don't think it is, though. I think it's a different beer completely every time, but it's definitely different hops. Uh, so, yeah, this is number nine. Um... It says on logo or label hazy IPA and it is a uh, 6.0 ABV. So as you can see, it, it's uh, it's pretty pretty hazy um like darker cloudier pineapple juice in my opinion with um about a half a finger's worth of a white head that's sticking around which is nice <clears throat> it's funny that i said this is like pineapple juice because that is the aroma is very very big uh pineapple there's a little bit of a peach in there, a little bit of a green hop character, but it's very pineapple forward. That is really nice. Uh, man. It's really funny because I just I just had the the heist um, Mo Citra Matueka problems and I thought that was one of the better IPAs I had had in a while and then I have this and like this isn't really the flavor profile and this isn't the same as that like that one's more juicy um, more peach forward this is more like earthy and pineapple but they're both really really good like now that i'm having this i'm i'm not saying that that was that this makes that any less good but um you know this up goes up there in comparison with it in my opinion um i would say this one's a little a little more green than that was uh, and by green I just mean it has more like generic general like green hop taste uh, which isn't necessarily a good or a bad thing to me it's just different um, that the the heist beer was definitely more juicy I mean this is plenty juicy it's uh, pretty much like a orange pineapple smoothie but it, it has a really nice presence of just like fresh picked hops uh the edge i would give i'm not saying i'm give this beer as a whole the edge but one thing about this that i prefer over that one this one's a little less sweet not that that one was overly sweet but this one's a little less sweet um it's more dry the bitterness, I would say, is probably pretty similar, though. It's it's really balanced. Um, it doesn't have leave like a burn in the back of your tongue or anything. So I'd say the bitterness is probably the same, just the sweetness is a little less. Um, man, I... Drinking some of these, like, 
I mean, it just makes me think of uh, IPAs I've had from other breweries in other cities or whatever. Some are good, they're hit or miss, whatever, but... You know, if you're a huge, huge hop head, and you were in Charlotte, and you just went and got all the cans from here, Heist, and um, Resident Culture... Like, you'd be set. You would always have fresh, amazing hoppy beers in the fridge at all times. Because between the three of them, I mean, they're pumping out so much, there's no way you could ever run out of them. Uh, and they're... I mean, these these guys in Resident Culture especially, but Heist here and there has been doing some really good stuff too. Uh, yeah, I... I think... I had the diamond ring from these guys last week or the week before, and I thought it was pretty good, but I definitely think this is better than that. Um, this has a little bit more complexity, and it's a little more balanced than that was. Uh, I think the couple beers I've had from this series have been some of my favorite hoppy beers that they've done. Uh, I still think Pounder is the best hoppy beer that they make. Um, it's not crazy, crazy hoppy. It's just an, a really simple, nice, refreshing, tasty pale ale. It's like the ultimate lawnmower beer. Um, but if you want a really true, juicy New England IPA, like this is, I think this is one of the best ones that they've done. I think it's really, really good. I mean, they, they just really know how to do this stuff. And that's not to take away and say that they're not... That they're not good at other things because the last couple, like the the Norway Hill and the Strawberry Hill have, were both really, really good too. Um, and Yucatan's coming out again, which is like their Mexican uh, Imperial style, which I'm pretty excited for as well. Uh, <clears throat> back to this beer itself... Um, it's probably pretty obvious based on, uh, you know, what I've said so far, but this beer is absolutely a buy for me. Um, I think it was 16. So that is one, you know, they are slightly cheaper than, like, Resident Culture. Um, and I, I would say the difference, if there is a difference between the two, is negligible, so... That would be the only reason I might say buy their stuff over Resident Culture. They're both really, really good. You can't go wrong with either one of them, but that's just my thoughts on it. Um, Four dollars a can for this is is a steal. This is definitely top notch IPA, just as good as all the other ones that people you know trade for. Whatever other half Aslan uh, Treehouse, whatever. Um. So yeah, definitely any any of their stuff, seek it out. Uh, Tyler knows what the hell he's doing, so. Anyways, uh, I think that's all I got in this guy. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks. And by the way, I don't know why I said Tyler. His name's TJ. I was thinking of something else.